Thank you very much, Garmaghi, and it's a fault of Galeer Gagalyev, and it's a fault of Galeev, and it's a fault of even Sauri Shah. And it's an hour of chance for Hagam Kupa Fokler Olive, Egan Okaj, Sunsak Shah. So I'm going to welcome all of you to Galway, pick your visitors from overseas, and welcome to NUI Galway on this relatively good summer's day in Galway. Very happy to have you here for this, the sixth conference on, in the, of the UNESCO Child and Family Research Centre at NUI Galway. And the conference theme this year, as you know better than I do, is engagement and participation on family support. These conferences, in effect, are a showcase for the work of the centre and, the, and serve, in effect, to allow the centre to present what it's been doing to you, many of you who are practitioners, and also to share experience with international partners and international colleagues who are working in, in, in these areas. As I understand, the conference focuses particularly on trends, challenges, and also options relating to citizens' engagement and participation in the whole area of family support. And in that sense, it will highlight the importance of citizenship to family support and the role of services, communities, and indeed individuals in delivery of services and in systems reform. I know we're also joined today by a number of international speakers who are very, very welcome, very distinguished academics, policymakers, and indeed activists in the whole area. All of you, 200 delegates from 10 countries, I hope you have a very stimulating, very productive, and indeed a very enjoyable few days in Galway. I want to also acknowledge the support of a number of people, a number of guests who are here in the next couple of days, people who have been very supportive of the university in its efforts to develop the centre and to, develop the, and to, to, uh, to further develop the UNESCO centre. I want to acknowledge particularly Ashton Gillen, who is the HSC who's in the HSC National Office of Child and Family Services. Nora Gibbons, who's a graduate of this university and is now chairperson of the board of the Child and Family Agency. Dr. Sean Campbell of Faroiga, who's also a graduate of the university. Jane Foreman from Atlantic Philanthropies, who's been a great supporter of the university in its efforts to develop lots of activities, including family support. And of course, Fergus Findlay from Bernardo, who I think has written internationally for his work in this area. Many of you know better than I do the importance of this, of this topic and you also, I'm sure, are aware of the famous quote from Tolstoy when he opened his well-known great novel, Anna Karenina, with the statement that happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. And in many ways, this, this, this centre, this UNESCO centre, and this, this conference is looking at issues like that, trying to understand the issues of happy and unhappy families, trying to identify policy and practice which can be adopted to positively impact on people's lives through creating better families. This centre was established almost seven years ago now, and it, its objective from the very beginning was to focus on policy and services. Do that through a combination of three things. Research, which is grounded in reality, education, and service development. The centre is based in the School of Sociology and Political Science in the University, and it has created a whole series of activities built around that whole theme of family support and youth development. It has carried out a whole series of research activities with support from Bernardos, with support from the HSC and other agencies, and with support from Atlantic Philanthropies, who have been a tremendous uh, financial supporter of the centre, indeed a tremendous help in terms of creating an agenda for the centre. The centre is now well established with a core of 22 staff, a director, an associate director, development manager, administrator, and a whole range of uh, research and support staff. The centre also offers a range of teach of thought programmes, a very successful diploma and Master of Arts in Family Support, a two-year part-time programme. This has been going on now for 10 years, it takes in 20 students per, per biannual intake, and is working extremely well. I understand one of the very few in Europe which addresses this topic and which has proven to be very successful both in terms of attracting students and also in terms of producing graduates who are relevant to society. We also have a structured PhD program in the area of child and youth research, four-year full-time program. This involves a collaboration with the Centre, the, the School of Sociology and Political Science, and Trinity College Dublin. And that program takes in six students per year. Again, I think a significant intake and a significant contribution to creating a cadre of people who are able to go out there ultimately and, and influence the society in terms of developing better procedures, better policies, and better services. The centre has also developed strong links internationally, and that's been done mainly through the UNESCO chair, which I think is also an important statement from UNESCO of the quality of work going on here. It's an important validation of what the university is doing in this area. 
And I want to also re refer to the fact that Pat Dolan, our, our, our centre director, has recently been appointed to the, to the um, new Child and Family Support Agency, established by the Minister for Children and, and Youth Affairs, which also recognises his contribution in that area. The centre has also continues to, continues to develop. We've been very fortunate in the past couple of years to have had great support from philanthropy. And in this particular case, the Atlantic Philanthropies, again, have given the university a significant amount of money to create a single building to house three research units. These units are all in sort of incognate areas. One is in the area of social gerontology, dealing with essentially older people. The second, of course, is, is, is the centre that we're, we're now dealing with here, the UNESCO Centre for Child and Family Research, and also a third centre in disability law. So those two centres are coming together into a single life course institute, which will be housed in a building which we will start to build in the next two weeks. And that building will provide a facility which will provide essentially services around, sorry, provide facilities for teaching, research, and most important community engagement in those three areas. And we very much appreciate the support of Atlantic in doing that, and certainly it gives us a great opportunity as an institution to bring those centres together and to ensure that we, that we look at the whole life course of individuals disadvantaged individuals and try to develop, as I say, a coherent set of policies, a coherent set of services through creating people who will do that in, in, in the external world. I think it's also a great example of what Michael D. Higgins referred to as scholarship in action. Our president, as you know, is also a graduate of this university, indeed a former staff member here, and he has made a very strong commitment to education and the, the role education plays in society. And the term he used is scholarship in action. And in my mind, to my mind, the work that's been done in the UNESCO uh, Centre for Child and Family Support and the, the wider life course work in the university fits that label precisely and is a, a great example of how a university, through its research and through its teaching, is impacting society and therefore is truly scholarship in action, as seen from scholarships in some sort of an ivory tower. So I, I take that as a, I take his sort of, his advice around scholarship in action very seriously. I think we as a university are living, through that, living that advice out in terms of the work of people like Pat and his colleagues here. I think it's also important to say that the research in the university, and, and again it's true of this, this child and family support area, research drives teaching in the university. The university is differentiated by the fact that it's, that it's research led in terms of its teaching. And we are very keen to ensure that happens in this university through the, the involvement of people who are active researchers in delivery of undergraduate and postgraduate programs in, in all of these areas. And that's that's also, I think, done well in, in, in the area of child and family support. So I want, to, I want to finish by commending my colleague Pat Dole and his team for doing a tremendous job in the university over the past few years, for their ongoing success in attracting research funding, and for their work essentially putting this university on the map in this whole area and indeed contributing to the national effort to, uh, to, um, to develop research and action in child and family support. Thank you very much.